It's the Christmas season, and today on At Your Leisure, we're showcasing the perfect family adventure to celebrate your Yule in style. I'm Rhea rossi Booth, And I'm Chad Booth. Today, we're hitting the slopes, though not the ones you'd expect, then finding the ice, the lights, and even Santa Claus. From there, Stephen Human sleds the powder in one destination that already has plenty, and Reese Stein finds a place where you can still wear shorts. At Your Leisure is next. It is. Bye. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> At Christmas time, you don't have to go far to have fun. Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And we are tubing in Gorgosa Park up here in Park City. And this is so much fun for the families. And we got just enough snow that we are going to be flying down this hill. I put a super slick, non-nutritive food varnish on the bottom. I've been testing it at the lab for this good old-fashioned family Griswold Christmas. So that would be us, the in-laws, and Stephen, the Griswold family. I, it's time for me to pass the Griswold glasses on to Stephen here. Oh, Stephen's such a lucky guy. <laughs> He's got all his kids here, so it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be fun. All right, well, what do you say we get started with this and you and I do a race? All right. All right. We're going to be hitting Sparky's flying off the top of it, get all the way to the freeway, across into Jeremy Ranch, all the way down to the store. Gorgosa Park, it's a little different than your normal ski area um, environment. And I think it gives uh, folks an opportunity to do something different. Here at the Tubing Park, we have a couple different activities for folks. Uh, we have a Fort Frosty play area for kids that are under three years old generally that can't go out on our main tubing hill. It's got a little tubing carousel, um, a little tubing lane to push the children down, and uh, some foam blocks to build forts. Uh, we have snowmobiles for kids that are 6 to 12 years old. I'm under 110 pounds. It's a great ride. 120 Polaris snowmobiles, build a track for them, let them go around, kind of like go-karts. A lot of kids come from Florida, Texas, southern states, they don't get to see snow, so they're already really excited when they get here. When they experience their day here, two to four hours, they leave wanting to come back more, so a lot of times it's the parents coming back the next day to pick up where they left off. Here you go, up here we go. Typically three and four year olds will stay in the lower three lanes. When they get about five, they're over 42 inches tall and they can go on the big hill. And I've seen folks out here from their 80s and 90s having a great time. And it's just a great place to go, relieve the stress of the, the high chair lifts or the crazy uh, folks going around too fast for other people. I'm like terminal velocity material. <laughs> kind of like Chevy Chase in Christmas Vacation. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, you know what, Rhea? There's a lot more to tubing here <laughs> in northern Utah than just going down the slopes in a tube. <laughs> All right, Steven is up to something. <laughs> we had speed bumps. We had to hit speed bumps. That was bumps. a speed bum. Yeah. <laughs> it's finally here, the snow. Now, after that first dusting in the valleys, you can be sure that in the higher elevations, it's going to be even deeper. Now, this being an El Nino year, southern Utah and Colorado are likely to get higher than average snow. That's been the historic average with El Nino. Well, I am taking you to a place today that already offers great powder. It's Fish Lake and the mountain slopes on its shores. Normally you think of Fish Lake like this, a summer destination of blue nestled among the green of pine and aspen, a great place to fish and hike between Richfield and Capitol Reef. Right now, it looks more like this. The color is a bit more monochromatic, but for snowmobilers, the adventure isn't about the colors. Riding is great. I really like to promote the sport. I've been riding since about 1979, started with my father, 
it's been great for me and I have four boys and uh, we've all enjoyed riding every weekend. It's all great fun. I'm a lot like my dad. I like riding in the powder. It's a good time. Just get to come out here and hang out with friends and family. Usually there's not a lot of crowds. It's usually a lot of just me and my dad and his friends. And sometimes you run into a couple people, but most of the time it's just you and the open trails. Which is exactly the sort of thing we're looking for today. The Fish Lake Snowmobile Complex ties into three other trail systems that can take you along paths of every skill level, from basic flatlands to high mark areas made for performance junkies. We should go up Gooseberry Road and then we go up to Seven Mile. We ride up around Mount Terrell, right up on the Fish Lake High Top all around this country up here. Oh, there's tons of areas. I don't think I've been to everywhere on this mountain. I've gone a hundred times. We have real varying terrain. We have uh, open flats, powder bowls, steep climbs if you'd like them, high elevations. We can get up over 10,000 feet, 11,000 on Mount Terrell and up on the high tops over 11,000. So you get some great panoramic views uh, when, the, when the clouds are not here. Just a great place to ride. The Fish Lake Complex itself is one of the trail systems maintained by Utah State Parks. That means the trails are regularly groomed to afford access to all the terrain in the area. Now, most hardcore riders avoid the trail at all costs so they can enjoy the soft powder and open bowls of the winter landscape. The trail system does make navigating the area far easier, though, and also leads to other parts of the complex riders might never explore. It's a great asset that we have such a well-maintained system for snowmobilers since it makes exploring that much easier. Where they don't have ski areas, we have super snowmobile areas, and I think this is great. I pushed the Park Service quite hard a few years ago to make sure that they got the trail grooming done because I was getting a lot of complaints from people that they weren't getting the job done. But if you get out in those areas, it's just really nice. The groomed trail system offers a chance to enjoy other sports in the area besides snowmobiling as well, since anglers have easy access to the frozen lake all winter long. Rainbows and splake are the big frozen catch here, and the only way to access the area is by snowmobile, so it's a great mixture for those looking to try a bit of both. Trails are also open to cross-country skiers in search of solitude in the quiet, snow-covered mountains. The lodge and concessionaires are all closed for the season, but you can get supplies in nearby Loa, which is just a 20-minute drive to the east, or in Richfield, which is about an hour to the west. The cold may keep us indoors for much of the winter, but snowmobiling is the perfect excuse to get out with the family and enjoy what the frigid outdoors has in store. It's inviting, it's free, and best of all, it's open to everyone. Usually not very many crowds, even if there are some days up to 50 to 100 people, you disperse so quickly that you hardly see each other during the day. There's so much variety. You can go race, you can just play around in powder, you can climb hills, you can do whatever you want. And there aren't many forms of recreation where you can say that. Well, the snow has fallen, and if history is any indicator, Central and Southern Utah is going to get plenty this winter. So get out and enjoy. I'm Stephen Hume for At Your Leisure. We need to take a commercial break, but keep it here because we're going to show you some of the Christmas sights of Salt Lake City later in the show. Tucked away just outside of Cedar City, Utah, are two of Southern Utah's best kept secrets, Canaraville Falls and Kolob Canyons. The rare scenic views create beautiful backdrops to capture the perfect selfie. Get your selfie to Canaraville Falls or Kolob Canyons and get in on one of Utah's best kept secrets. Go to visitcedarcity.com and access your adventure. Discover Can-Am's wide range of industry-leading vehicles during the Yellow Tag event. For a limited time, get the industry-acclaimed Outlander L starting at $59.49, or choose the powerful Outlander, the versatile Commander, or the turbocharged Maverick. With cash rebates up to $2,500. Offer ends soon. Visit your local dealer during the Yellow Tag event. Can-Am, the ride says it all. Jesse, do you want a doll for Christmas this year? No. How about a bike? No. What about a pony? No. Well, what do you want for Christmas this year? I want an RV from Ray City for my whole family. 
Come into Ray City RV for our end of year clearance sale. Give your family the gift of adventure this Christmas. Tent trailers, Class A motorhomes, accessories, and more. Everything you need to bring your loved ones together. It may be too big to fit under the tree, but there's nothing like a new RV for Christmas. Ray City RV on Riverdale Road in Roy, Santa's RV Workshop. Have you ever wanted to go on a vacation to Mars? What about a visit to the Old West? Impossible, right? Well, forget what you think is real. In southern Utah's Kane County, other worlds are just an ATV ride away. The Old West lives on in every sunset. From the downtown streets of Little Hollywood to the vistas that have inspired the world. Never find yourself closer to home and yet farther than you've ever been. Southern Utah's Kane County, where anywhere is possible. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Darren Kinder, and our product review today is the new Yamaha YXZ1000 side by side. And this is absolutely a pure sport machine. I mean, from the suspension to the engine and everything, this thing is really meant to move. This thing is made for speed. It's got a 998cc motor on it that's an aluminum engine. It's 11.3 to 1 compression ratio, three lightweight pistons in it, super smooth. But they've also made that to a sequential five-speed transmission on it. So you actually have to shift this machine and it has a clutch. So that's way different than anything else that's out there right now. So the first time you go out, it's going to take a little bit getting used to. Here in the back, we have a trailing arm suspension. We have a two and a half inch podium shock on this Fox shock. You know, it's fully adjustable and this has a total of 17 inches of travel in this rear suspension. Now, the other thing to notice when you're back here is, yeah, it has disc brakes on all four wheels, but also notice it has a disc brake on the drive line. Now, this is pretty cool. Down here, they've opened up this whole area, so it's really easy to get in here and fix something if you have any problems. Plus, it's also easy to see if you've got any issues because it's all right there and easy to get to. Up here on the top, they've made this removable panel and then that gives you access to your air filter and also your remote oil reservoir tank. So you can check your oil right there, clean your air filter, and it's all really easy to get to. But one of the things I really like about this machine is the fit and finish. It is super clean. You can tell that they've spent a lot of time looking at every little detail on it. The seats are, are fantastic, nice high backs that are very comfortable. The driver's seat is fully adjustable, comes standard with a plastic hardtop roof on it. And you can see all the fit and finish in the back is all very clean. You have doors on the machine that open normally. It took me a little, a little while to get used to that. But they have slam latches and the, and the handles on the inside of the vehicle. Several of the things on the dash to really point out to you. One is a shift light on because now you've got a manual transmission, you gotta to remember to shift and it has a little light to remind you of that. It can easily go into reverse or forward right through the shifting mechanism. You have on-demand four-wheel drive, diff lock. It's all extremely easy to use and it, it everywhere you look, it's really clean. Now up here in the front, you have the AA arm front suspension, the Fox two and a half inch podium shocks on it, and it still has 16 and a half inches of travel up here in the front end. Not to mention it's got this really you know aggressive look to it with four headlights in the front my wife calls this thing the praying mantis it's an evil praying mantis mind you so but it, it's a lot of fun well i want to get this thing out on the trail and go ripping around but you need to get into stedman's and check one of these out they have it in this cool retro yellow color they also have them in orange and blue and white i'm darren kinder we'll see you next time It's out there. Something is definitely out there. Whatever it is, it's big. I won't play, I swear, we got so close I could smell it. But then, poof, it was gone. Right. It exists. The new Honda Pioneer 1000 with the best in class engine and six speed fully automatic dual clutch transmission. Pioneer 1000 from Honda. There's a little place on a Utah map Where I was raised, where my heart's at Where the sagebrush grows, 
wild and high and the stars come out at night Oh, there ain't nothing like Being raised in the basement with a youth reservation Skin starvation That Duchesne County life Hi, I'm Mark Robinson from Hillside Tire and Service, your friendly neighborhood tire store. We've been here 25 years. Our customers become our family. You take care of their needs. When we first opened this store, the mom and dad came here. They had their little kids. Well, those kids have grown up and they're bringing their cars here now. We have the contract with the state of Utah. We do all the Utah Highway Patrol. And they know that we're going to keep them on the road so they're safe and they can take care of us. Hillside Tire, five locations in Salt Lake, hillsidetire.com. In the mountains, there's only one way. Through the tightest trees, steepest climbs, and deepest drifts. And always go higher and further than before. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're showing you a whole bunch of things you can do to get outdoors in the Christmas season while you're in town. That's right, and we are at the South Town Center right now in Sandy, Utah, and they have an outdoor skating rink here for the Christmas season, and it's just adorable. And I think it's going all the way until like January 9th, right? Of next year. Yes, of next year. Otherwise, we'd be back to the future, which is not <laughs> one of the movies playing. No. It but, is kind yeah. of fun. They have Christmas movies playing right now, so you can get the holiday spirit right now. As a matter of fact, Tim Allen is just learning how to drive the sleigh. <laughs> and he's about the same remedial level that I am with the ice skates because I've been off them for a couple of years. But look, I can just stand here and go backwards. And when I feel like it, I can go forwards again. Isn't that fun? <laughs> All right. Let's take a few spins. Well, let's take a few spins and find out some of the other things there are to do. Is this a movie setting for ice skating or not? Take a look at the sky. Huh? Wow. This year we opened a winter attraction at Southtown. We have an ice skating rink. Um, so it's outside and it's a lot of fun. People can come and skate. We have skate rentals. Um, it's $7. That's unlimited skating. We have skates that you can rent or you can bring your own skates. On Tuesday nights, from now and through January, we have food truck nights. On Thursday nights through December, we're going to be showing Christmas movies, so you can come out and you can ice skate and, and watch a Christmas movie. It's a nice winter activity to do. Um, you know, it's active and it's fun and it's also, I think ice skating is a little bit nostalgic, so being able to be outside and ice skating is pretty fun. You know, Rhea, of all the shopping centers or malls around, if you're going to find one and say this is the closest to Santa's toy shop, it has to be Southtown. Look at all the fun stuff they got here. I know, and the kids are totally enjoying it, which is so fun to see. Yeah, they forget that Christmas is coming. They don't even ask for stuff. I know, they're having so much fun. It's just, this is a great place for parents to shop and let the kids have some fun as well. Now we're going to go see what Reese is up to. He's going to show us how you can enjoy Christmas with your shorts on. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure in California's Mojave National Preserve, an area of outstanding scenery, history, and adventure. Since 1905, Union Pacific trains have roared through the heart of the Mojave Desert. From 1924 to 1962, they stopped here at the Kelso Depot, a stylish Spanish colonial revival building which served passengers, railroad workers, provided water for the steam engines, and in World War II carried iron ore from nearby mines to California steel mills. Diesel engines erased the need for the Kelso Depot, but not the love locals have for this historic building. They saved it from demolition and restored it. Ken Lehman was part of the restoration effort. They're beautiful buildings. Some of them, like the Kelso Depot, was a very beautiful building. And it would be just too much to let it deteriorate and, and go into the ground. Today, the Kelso Depot is a museum and headquarters for the 1.6 million acre Mojave National Preserve in the Southern California desert. It includes the restaurant, which closed in 1985, 
baggage room, telegraph office, upstairs bedrooms, and a diorama showing the town of Kelso during its 1940s heyday. Adjacent the depot, only the old Kelso post office and jail cell remain. It kind of typifies what went on during that period of time, and I think it exemplifies all the uh, opulence, I suppose, uh, that train travel had during those days, and it's just a neat building, a neat location. From the depot, the Mojave Preserve stretches across the high desert north to I-15, south to I-40, and east to the Nevada state line. Creosote bush dominate the landscape, along with lush forests of Joshua trees. Punctuated by hardy choya, the look but don't touch cacti with the clingy barbed spines. The largest national park in the lower 48 other than Death Valley and Yellowstone, nearly half of Mojave is congressionally designated wilderness. But thousands of miles of dirt roads offer four-wheeling adventure, although off-roading is not allowed. The preserve includes a 45 square mile sand dune field towering up to 650 feet high and huge cinder cones, domes, and lava fields. Rangers at the Hole in the Wall Information Center can direct you to one of the eight developed and five primitive hiking trails in the middle of the preserve. The mile and a half Rings Loop Trail is a great introduction to the area. It circles Banshee Peak. The only other people we saw on the trail warned us of the rattlesnake up ahead near the petroglyphs. But all we found were the glyphs, evidence of pre-Columbian peoples leaving their marks of indeterminate meeting perhaps as long as 10,000 years ago. The trail continues around the backside of the peak through fields of tall yuccas and some very impressive desert barrel cacti. Their new spines a brilliant red and yellow. Bear ride as the trail turns back against the cliffs which give hole in the wall its name. The uneven drying of the volcanic tuff has pockmarked Banshee Canyon as if Swiss cheese. Here the trail seems to dead end against the walls of volcanic debris laid down over millions of years. But there is an out and a unique escape it is. Two sets of rings bolted into the cliff face provide hand and footholds to get you up and over the sheer 200 foot high walls of Banshee Canyon. If that sounds easy, well, even with the rings, it's a bit of a struggle battling gravity on the vertical, but it's a fun challenge. I thought it would be some kind of a simple little hike with some rings to grasp, and I thought I'd die there for a little bit, but we made it over, helping each other. The short hole in the wall trail is a great primer to the geology and plant life in this natural desert wonder. It's spectacular country, beautiful, beautiful rock formations and you'd never know it was here. Reese Stein at your leisure in California's Mojave National Preserve. Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. Get the gift of horsepower during the Polaris Holiday Sales Event. Financing as low as 2.99% and rebates up to $1,500. Ranger XP900s and Crew 900s come with a free three-year extended warranty and big cash rebates. Sportsman ATVs come with a free winch. Get these great deals and more during the Polaris Holiday Sales Event. Shopping in Davis County has never been better. Experience Station Park, Northern Utah's premier gathering place for holiday shopping, dining, and entertainment. With over 100 shops, Station Park is something for the whole family. Or explore the shopping possibilities this season under one roof at the Layton Hills Mall. Both are conveniently located north of downtown Salt Lake, just off I-15. Come take advantage of special discounts and a wide selection of stores. Visit PlayInDavis.com for more info.
Do you know what a federal wilderness designation means? Do you know what an RMP is? Do you know what SUA stands for? Do you know how the Grand Staircase Escalante became a national monument? Each of these could have a significant impact on you and your access to your public lands. If your answer was no to any one of them, it's time to get educated and involved. Visit www.usaall.org and consider joining the fight today. This message is brought to you by the Utah Shared Access Alliance. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. The candy for Christmas is out down here at Macy's. Take a look at this. Those are gumdrops. Snoopy's made of gumdrops and licorice and chocolate raisins, and he's got a licorice nose. And I'm ready to dive in and just eat that all up. If there wasn't a window right here, my mouth would be all over that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so delicious. <laughs> Well, this is the part of the show where we come downtown. Steve and his family are up running around Temple Square. We're going to catch up with them in a minute. But right now, it's time for us for our contest winner. Okay, you got to take a look at this window sticker. Now, okay, a little couple of white vans, but take a close look. What is that license plate? It's funny little stick figures. UK and the Nami from Japan have put AYL stickers onto their cars. They watch us online every week. They were visiting in Utah, vacationing. They became AYL fans. So you are our winner this week. What did they get? I think we're sending them a stove. Oh my gosh, that's so a exciting. Camp Chef Hibachi. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna love it. Anyway, congratulations to you. And thank you for being fans of At Your Leisure. That's so exciting. Yes, it is. And also, we want to talk about uh, December 7th through the 12th. We have a wonderful event in Cedar City. It's the Frontier Homestead State Park. They're having a wonderful, wonderful activities there for two, three days. And they do this every year, so they know exactly what they're doing. And that is so fun for the family. That's true. And if you've ever wanted to have pioneer bread baked in a real brick oh. oven, done with the big wood spatulas and everything, oh. they'll have that. They have all kinds of homemade crafts and things. They really celebrate pioneer style a frontier homestead Christmas. Yeah, Iron County, they got it going on. That's true. So you don't want to miss that. And of course, you don't want to miss, like in a couple of weeks, listening to the radio because there'll be these reports of UFOs and red blinking <laughs> lights and reindeer flying on their way to Salt Lake. I'm excited <laughs> listening to you. <laughs> but we've got a forecast for you right now. It's not Santa Claus on his way from the North Pole. It's next week's At Your Leisure on its way to you. Take a look. On the next episode of At Your Leisure, follow Chad and Rhea as they find the lights of Christmas in some unexpected locations. What does Tooele have to offer this time of year? More than you would expect, and we'll show you all the fun you can have when you look to the west for some winter adventure. We'll also take a look at one present that won't fit under your tree. It's an AYL Christmas celebration next week. Well, that's been a lot of fun, Stephen. <laughs> Is this part of your family tradition to come down here to Temple Square? Not every year. Some years we'll come down and we'll look at the lights. But what we did today with going from sledding to the Gallivan Center and then here, that's a tradition we're starting because that was a lot of fun. I know they had a blast. Did yeah, you well, have fun? Well, yeah. you know, Santa Claus Lane has been part of my tradition growing up from the time I was like two. So that was probably like 25 years ago? Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I, I, We're definitely I, getting a check next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we <get> <laughs> well, I hope, we, I hope we've given you some ideas on how to develop some family traditions around Christmas. You don't have to go far into the back country. You can get outdoors and be right here in the city. And it's a blast. So Merry Christmas, everybody. And uh, get out and make your own adventures at your leisure. We'll see you next week. Let's okay. Get some chocolate. I'm going to buy chocolate. All right, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> it's going to be a jolly, Go, gosh, by golly, Clark Griswold type Christmas event. And you can fix that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week. So you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here. And that way, they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com. And from there, you can find out which television stations we broadcast on. So you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget, we have really cool contests.